Well, Senator Tower is the chairman of the Senate Campaign Committee, and in this role, he has done a fantastic job of raising money for, <coughs> for all Senate candidates. Uh, I have received a larger sum of money, uh, and I don't know the exact amounts, but I've received a larger sum of money, I'm told, than any other Senate candidate. That comes from the fact that the money that went to the big gala dinner in Washington, which was a major fundraising effort by the party, that many of those monies that came from Texas were earmarked for the Bush campaign. They said, I'll buy a ticket, or I'll give this money, but I want it to go to George Bush. And so I'm told that that's why I get that. As I understand the way it works, uh, leaving out earmarked monies, then the other monies are divided between, on a formula basis, between the key races. So I think these attacks on Senator Tower, that he's favoring one area over another, will prove to be ill-founded. An urban environment. In fact, it's good. It provides diversity of opportunity for people to do, uh, do their own thing and whatever that thing is. Uh, the urban environment in a megalopolis uh, can be a good one. That's not the thing to be feared. The thing to be feared are, are the bad air that we get, the uh, lack of park open space, uh, the, the poor treatment of our water systems, and, uh, and all these other environmental problems that annoy us too. Uh, all these are created when we don't manage properly. And we can get bad air in a small city, and we can get poor development in a small city just as we can in a large one. How does the future look then, in, as far as environmental management is concerned? Are you afraid for the future? No, I'm very optimistic. Uh, of course, I think that in the next uh, uh, 20 to 40 years that we'll find it very, very difficult to manage our environment. Hi, I'm Carl Mayo. Mondell, glad to know you. I do uh, a little television work, and my, some of my friends and my bosses have been complaining about the glare on my head lately. Is there anything you can do for me? Well, we sure can. You know, women have been camouflaging themselves for years. Women's had a drowsy hurdle. We might as well go ahead. This is the beginning of the men's liberation movement. Well, that's sort of different, isn't it? There you are. Now, this is our Lee Park special here. You can get your Frisbee, go down to Lee Park, eat your fr fried beans, and just do anything you want to do with this one here. Well, that's a little too much, I'm afraid. My oldest boy would like this, but I'm afraid it's a little too much for me. Right. What else have you got? Well, we can uh, give you this one here, this little blonde job here. We have 18 different colors, you know. From well, the I don't know. I'm not a blonde, really. They say blondes have more fun, but, well, you know. Here on your hairdresser, will know for sure. It doesn't look right. Well, they say let me get something. Have more fun. Well, maybe they do, but let me get try to something a little more to my my own hair shading here. You can always tell by like. the eyebrows. There you are. Uh, that and wear. looks a little bit better. I like that one a little bit more. It's wash and wear, synthetic wig. Jerome Alexander really got him something here. I like that. I think I'll take it. All righty. Fine. Thanks a lot. I like that. Okay. Maybe this will help me in my job. Happy hair wearing. <laughs>
starvation. Uh, we'll have um, uh, people killing one another uh, and all.